Hey guys, so welcome back to CE Bass Tutorial Channel, and this is our situation number 29 from CE Board Exam May 2017 for Structural Engineering and Construction. A box column is filled up by welding two channels at their flanges. So given the following, yan, so pakipasa na lang given kasi napakarami. Ayan. So, uh, determine the following. Calculate the maximum load that the column can support without buckling. And the maximum action load so that the yield stress will not be exceeded. And the largest allowable or uh, yes, allowance action load that the column can support before it either begins to buckle or the material yields. Yeah. So, ito yung ating uh, box column. Yeah. So, ano siya? Uh, made up of ano siya? two channels na pinag-weld. Pinagsama, pinagsama siya through welding connections. Okay? Then, given naman yung, ano, yung uh, location ng centroids natin ng kada channel, it is located 16.5 millimeters from this, uh, ano ba to? From the flange. Ah, sorry, sorry. From the web. Ayan. And then, ibig sabihin nito rin is 16.5. Uh, so, if yung ating flange width is 77, therefore, Yung natitira dito ano, distance from the y-axis or the centroidal axis is 60.5. So, 60.5 millimeters to. So, this is our ano, y and x-axis. Pero kung nakapansin mo, or nyo, ang ating y at x-axis ay nakalocate sa kanyang centroidal ano, or centroids ng ating connections. Okay? So, for number 1, Maka-calculate natin to ano eh, uh, without buckling eh, di ba? So, kung without buckling, ibig sabihin, ang pinapasolve dito is yung critical buckling load. So, galing nyo sa ano, concept ni Euler. Okay, ni Euler buckling stress. So, kung babalik natin yung concept na yun, ang ating PCR, or yung critical buckling load, is equivalent to pi squared Ti over um, KL is squared. Where K is what we call the effective length factor. So, meron natin effective length factor dyan. Ah. K is 1.0. Tapos, yung length natin or yung unbraced length natin is nasaan? Ito. Yung column height natin na 6 meters. Meron lang tayong given na E pero kung hindi mag given ng E since this is still therefore Ang ating modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal. Okay, so sorry, this is gigapascal, ah, not megapascal. And so correct natin. Yan, so this is gigapascal. Next, meron tayong i, kaso dalawa, ix and iy. So, anong gagawin natin? Pipili tayo dito ng ano, uh, weak. Okay, or yung weak axis natin. Kasi dito hindi tayo sure, eh. Kasi box to, possible na ang ating weak axis ay nasa X or nasa Y. So, pipili tayo sa dalawa na yun. So, for number 1, ang kunin mo natin is yung I. So, since ito yung ating X axis, tapos yung ating centroids ay tatama naman, parehas sa ating ano, X axis, ibig sabihin, hindi tayo kagamit ng transfer formula para makuha natin yung overall IX. Ibig sabihin, ang ating IX is equivalent to ito, 43 times 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 2 lamang. Okay? So, no transfer formula is needed. So, 86 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Next, ito naman sa IY. So, ang IY natin since ito yung centroids natin, with respect to y, meron tayong ano, no, distance. Ayan. Or, uh, wala. Okay? Or, wala yung ating centroids dun sa location ng ating y-axis. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin gumamit ng transfer formula. Remember, ang ating transfer formula is equivalent to i-bar plus ad squared. So, yung ating i-bar is yung ating i y na 1.6 times 10, raise to 6, plus area. Ah, yes, nakamultiply tayo ng 2, ha, kasi dalawa yung ating, ano, 
um, si channel. And sabi niya nito, properties of each element. So, tig-isa lamang siya. Kaya, i-multiply natin ng 2. So, ang area natin is 5, 6, 90. Then, ang ano location or yung distance ng ating centroids with respect to y-axis is equivalent to 60.5. Then, squared. Then, i-multiply natin ng dalawa kasi dalawa yung ating C-channel. So, this is our IY. 1.6 times 10 raised to 6 plus 5690 times 60.5 is squared multiplied by 2. So, this is 44.85 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. So, kung ikakompare natin yung dalawang ano, uh, moment of inertia, ang kailangan natin kunin is yung ating IY kasi ito yung weak. Okay, yung weak axis natin. So, meron na tayong I. Ayan, so, kompleto na. Okay, so, PCR is equivalent to pi squared multiplied by E, which is 200 gigapascal, no? So, times 10 raised to 3 para maging megapascal. So, multiplied by I, na 44.85 times 10 raised to 6 over K, na 1.0 multiplied by L. So, sa L, gagawin natin is millimeters, no? So, 6,000 squared. So, makukuha natin dito yung ano eh, uh, newton. So, di-divide lang natin ng 1,000 yan para maging kilo newton. So, pi squared E multiplied by 44.85 times 10 raised to 6 over 1 times 6,000 squared. Then, divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilo newton. So, 2459.18. So, 2459.18 kN. Okay. So, ano pa ba pa natin ano dito? Ah, yes. Uh, sir, bakit hindi po natin pwedeng gamitin yung IX? Kasi kapag ginamit natin yung IX dito, ang makukuha natin na value ng PCR is mas malaki sa 2459.18. Hindi ba natutunan natin sa strength of materials? Kapag loadings ang pinag-uusapan natin, ang pinipili natin is yung mas mababa na loadings or is strength. Okay, para mas maging safe yung ating material. So, kung ikakumpare natin yung ating PCR na makukuha sa IX, mas pipiliin natin yung PCR na makukuha natin sa IY kasi mas mababa yun. Okay? So, number two, What is the maximum actual load so that the yield stress will not be exceeded? So, sa yield stress tayo, FY. Ang ating FY is 248 megapascal. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating strength na P is equivalent to area multiplied by stress na FY. So, ang area natin is 5690 then multiplied by 2 para sa buong assembly natin. Multiplied by y, uh, FY. So, 248. So, Newton ang makukuha natin dito, ah. Divide lang natin ng 1,000. So, 5,690 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 248. Divided by 1,000. So, 2,822.24. Kilo Newton. Next. Ah, okay, so, 2322, ano to ha? 28, sorry. Ah, this is 2822. Siguro nakita lang namin it's 3. Namalikmat lang kami. So, this is ano ha? 28. 22.24. So, number 3 naman, find the largest allowance actual or allowable actual load that the column can support before it either begins to buckle or the material yields. Ibig sabihin, Dito sa so buckle, yun yung tinatawag natin na PCR or yung critical buckling load. Tapos ito naman is yung ating P from FY which is nasold na natin sa 1 and 2. Yung ating 1, yung PCR, yung ating 2 is yung P from FY. So ibig sabihin, mamimili lamang tayo ng dalo sa dalawa kung sino ang pinaka maliit. Therefore, ang ating P max and P safe 
is equivalent to 2459.18 kN. So sir, meron po kasi kami naaalala na kailangan pa namin isolve yung um, slenderness ratio. Then i-compare namin sa 4.71 is multiplied by square root of E over Fy. So sir, bakit hindi nyo po ginawa to? Kasi itong ano na to, solution na to is para masolve yung tinatawag natin na nominal load which is equivalent to um, FCR multiplied by area cross. So kailangan natin masolve itong ano eh, critical, uh, critical buckling stress na to. Pero ang sinosolve kasi natin dito is nominal load. Ang pinapasolve kasi sa number 1 is yung ano, uh, maximum load that the column can support without buckling. Ibig sabihin, yung uh, parang ano siya, uh, ano ba yun? Yung sa column, ito, yung column natin. Ayan. Ito yung column natin. Let's say, parehas na pin. Tapos, ang pinapasog dyan is yung uh, pinakasagad na load bago raw mag-buckle yung ating member. Okay? Mag-buckle, mag-ganyan, or mag-ganito man. Yan. So, yun, yun yung pinapasog, which is yung tinatawag natin na critical buckling load. Hindi yung nominal load. Kasi ito, kapag ang pinapasog is yung nominal load, this is what we call the nominal strength. Hindi ito yung pinapasog. Ang pinapasolve sa atin dito is yung maximum load na pwedeng i-apply sa ating column before siya mag-buckle or bago siya mag-fail in buckling. Okay? So anyway, kung gusto nyo matutunan kung paano natin masolve yung ating nominal strength, pwede nyo i-visit yung aming uh, playlist. Punta lamang kayo sa still design na playlist. Then punta kayo sa chapter 4, compression members, flexural buckling. So kapag in-open nyo yan, Meron dyan mga introduction, tapos meron itong uh, problems na sinod. So, dyan namin diniscuss yung, ano, yung effective length factor, K, then paano mangyayari yung ating FCR, then uh, ito. Yan, yung kinocompare natin yung ano, uh, effective slenderness ratio. Okay? So, again, this is our situation number 29 from CE board exam, May 2017, and... If you enjoyed and learned from this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.